and their Detroit Red Wings fans, check out today's news update. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Detroit Red Wings updates. Following the NHL trade deadline, the Detroit Red Wings had been operating with just 12 forwards and 7 defenders on their active roster. A move was anticipated with forward Robbie Fabry suffering a lower body injury against Chicago. Still, with all due respect to Austin Zarnick, many fans, myself included, expected to see Elmer Soderblom back with the Red Wings. Fabry took an awkward hit from Tyler Johnson on the boards Wednesday night and, although in considerable pain, was trying to test his leg. The Blackhawks would score moments later as they recognized they had a mini 5-on-4 advantage with Fabry compromised. Following Chicago's goal, the 27-year-old needed assistance down the tunnel as he headed straight for Detroit's room. After being checked out, Fabry went down to Detroit's practice ice below Little Caesars Arena to test out the leg again but would not return. Fabry won't be available this weekend as the Detroit Red Wings square off with Tyler Bertuzzi and the Boston Bruins in a home-and-home -home weekend series. Currently, the Detroit Red Wings are very optimistic regarding Fabry's injury, which is excellent news considering the veteran forward has already sustained three serious ACL injuries in his young career. A fourth torn knee might just be too much to overcome. Fabry has totaled 7 goals and 16 points over 28 games this season for the Red Wings since returning from a torn ACL suffered last March. With Fabry sidelined for at least the weekend, the Detroit Red Wings elected to recall Austin Zarnick from the Grand Rapids Griffins. Zarnick filled in for Detroit earlier this season, appearing in 12 games, scoring 2 goals totaling 3 points while skating to a plus-1 rating while averaging just over 11 minutes per game. In 42 games this season for Grand Rapids, Zarnick has recorded 13 goals and 36 points. With Detroit needing a forward recalled, I am somewhat surprised that the Red Wings have decided to leave Soderblom down. Soderblom played 21 games for Detroit early on, recording 5 goals and 8 points. With the Griffins, Soderblom has mirrored those numbers over 20 games. Despite a recent surge in his play, its apparent general manager Steve Eiserman is content with leaving the 6-foot-8 winger to marinate in the AHL for the time being. What do you think, fans, about this topic? Please leave a comment and consider subscribing for more updates on Detroit Red Wings news.